All right, so in this one, we want to use some jQuery to have our replies be a little bit more dynamic. So instead of just by default showing all the replies, we are gonna have a button here that will fade those replies in or fade them out, depending on if that button is clicked. Um, so to do this, we're gonna jump in to our post detail here. And the first thing I wanna do is wrap our reply related stuff into a div. And I'm gonna say div class equals to um, comment reply and we'll close that off and close that off and we're just going to make sure that all of this is inside of that block quote and then I'm going to for now just put an inline style sheet of display and none so we'll save that and refresh and what we see is now essentially what it's going to look like except we want to now also have a reply button here and then maybe show the number of comments that were mentioned um, so the first thing we'll do is that reply button. So we'll do a href equals to, and I'm just gonna do a hash tag here. And we'll just say reply, close off the a tag there, refresh. So now we need to add a class to that reply. And we'll say class uh, comment reply dash btn. So comment dash reply dash btn. That's gonna be our actual reply button and then we also want to get the comments so if there are comments we'll put a full section in there basically saying if comment.children.count is greater than zero then we're just going to assume that there's comments so we'll do comment.children.count and comments and then we'll put the end if here and then i will add a line there as well so we refresh and now we'll see one comment reply and one comment, so on, right? Um, of course, you could you could uh, go one step a little bit further, actually, is do one more if and else clause. We'll say if is greater than one, greater than or equal to one, then we'll put one, um, we'll put the S there. So, and if, or not greater than equal to, or just greater than one, then we'll have the S there. Let's make sure we did everything right. So if comment is greater than one, that should be right. Expected if, so if comment count, oh, greater than, we need to put a one inside of that if statement. There we go. And then we will put the greater than out there. There we go, just a little comment, or a, just a little styling um, pr preference there to have one comment, and then if there's more than one comment, it'll say comments. Cool, so now that we've got that reply, um, let's go ahead and add some jQuery functionality to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the class here, go into our base, go to the very bottom, and we're just gonna add that dollar sign dot comment reply button dot click. So we're using a click event. We are gonna do a function here. We're gonna pass in the event itself, and then we'll do event.prevent default. So this is gonna just prevent the default action for that click event. And then we want to actually fade in the comment reply section. So let's actually go back and look at it. And that's just simply comment reply. So we'll do this.parent and then dot next dot comment reply dot fade toggle. Um, so I'll explain these things in just a second. Let's refresh, click reply, and we've got that reply coming in. So I can now see all of the different replies, add a new one, hit reply, and now we see it says do comments, and we've got reply. Okay, perfect. So what happened here? Um, how is this exactly working? So first of all, the selector is for that class that is going on the A tag here, which is this and then it's preventing that link from even working. So even if you put a different link here, it would prevent that from going there, or the browser from going there. And then it's gonna look for the parent. So the parent of this element here is the footer, right? So it's actually in the footer, and then it's basically looking for the next um, on the same line. So the div and the footer are not inside of each other. Instead, their parent is footer, or excuse me, block quote. So block quote has paragraph, footer, and div. Um, so the parent class uh, or the parent element of the comment reply button is footer. And then the next comment reply is that div class. So that's how we are able to grab that. So we get this as in the, that one uh, link itself. Then we grab its parent, 
which is that block quote. And then we get the next one after this element um, of comment reply, and then we fade that in and out. So since we have this, we do wanna clean up our CSS a little bit here because inline style sheets are not best practices. So I'm gonna get rid of that inline style sheet there and go into our static CSS, base.css, and then do dot comment reply and display being none. Since we changed our CSS, we're gonna do python manage.py, collect static and say yes, and then run the server again. And we refresh in here. Our reply button is still working. Everything's working as expected. Cool, so if you have any questions on what we did here, let us know, otherwise let's keep going.